a day after downgrading credit ratings for troubled Greece and Portugal, Standard & Poor's did the same for Spain, giving a negative outlook for the country and adding still more urgency to the debt crisis in the Eurozone. Definitely this is a very significant point in the crisis. Uh, the Spanish downgrade uh, really brings into focus that uh, this isn't just about small economies. And while everyone has always been talking about Club Med as a whole, really this puts that into perspective that it's actually happening right now. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. The heads of the International Monetary Fund and the European Central Bank were already emphasizing the need for a swift Eurozone response concerning Greece when news of the Spain downgrade broke. Although official estimates on the size of a Greek bailout won't be known until later this week, the figures being discussed are ballooning rapidly, from an estimated 45 billion euros last week to over 100 billion euros on Wednesday, solely for the crisis in Athens. It's all an effort to restore investor confidence in the Eurozone. Greece on its own is not going to really uh, break the Eurozone or the EU. This is definitely about the Eurozone as a whole. And also it's about political implications, about what does it mean uh, that it takes so long for Eurozone uh, countries to come together and to rescue one of its member states. And this is why the uncertainty has spread across uh, the Eurozone as, as we have basically forecast in the past. Really, at this point, the Greek crisis is on the sidelines. I mean, if this goes beyond just Greece, IMF and the EU can't rescue Spain and Italy. These are giant economies whose problems, if unraveled, would be monstrous. And at that point, it really is out of the hands of finance ministers and out of the hands of the IMF. It's in the hands of the political leaders that will have to possibly redraw the constitution of uh, the European Union and of the Eurozone to allow for monetization of debt and all sorts of other instruments that have been uh, forbidden. Should the contagion spread beyond Club Med countries to the larger economies of Europe, there are very real questions as to whether the Eurozone itself might unravel.